morning students this is economics revision lesson for grade 12 provided by the ministry of education of ethiopia today we are going to see the theory of consumer behavior in the previous lessons we saw the theory of demand supply and elasticity now we are going to see the concepts of utility under the theory of consumer behavior from the definition, utility is the benefit or the satisfaction that a person gets from consumption of goods or service or simply it is the satisfaction that we derived from consumption of goods and services. From the definition of utility, utility is subjective. When we say utility is subjective, that two individuals get from the same commodity may not be the same. For example, Somebody might get higher level of satisfaction from consumption of cigarettes, but somebody may not get any kind of satisfaction from consumption of the same cigarettes. So, utility is subjective. It is dependent on the perception or attitude of individuals. So, it is subject. Next, under this theory, under the theory of utilities, we are going to see the two theories of utilities called the cardinal utility theory and the ordinal utility theory. The cardinal utility theory states that utility is measurable by an arbitrary unit of measurement called utils in the form of one, two, three. So it is possible to attach numbers for the satisfaction that we derive from consumption of goods and services. So it's possible to say, I get three utils of satisfaction from consumption of one orange or I get six utils of satisfaction from consumption of three bananas and the like. So it is possible to attach numbers for the satisfaction that we derive from consumption of goods and services. This theory, the cardinal utility theory, is a theory which was proposed by the old economists and the other type of utility or theory of utility is the ordinal utility theory. The ordinal utility theory states that utility is not measurable. Rather, a consumer can rank or order the satisfaction that he derives from consumption of goods and services. So, utility is not measurable. Rather, a consumer can rank or order the satisfaction that he derives from consumption of goods and services. Now, let's see the assumptions of the cardinal utility theory. These are the preconditions that must be fulfilled in order to apply the cardinal utility theory. First assumption is the consumer to be rational. That means the consumer has a clear cut preference and he's subject to its lim limitation in budgets and its, its maximum objective is maximizing total utility. The major objective of every consumer behind consuming goods and services is maximizing total utility. So when the consumer is rational, is his or her objective is maximizing total utility. The second assumption or precondition that must be fulfilled to apply the cardinal utility theory is cardinal utility. That means it is possible to attach numbers for the satisfaction that we derive from consumption of goods and services. The third assumption is the consumer is limited in his choice. There is budget constraint. That means everybody cannot buy whatever he wants to buy. So there is limitation in budget. And the other assumption is there is diminishing marginal utility. That means the law of diminishing marginal utility is in operation. That means the law of diminishing marginal utility states that the additional satisfaction that we get from additional consumption of a commodity will always decline. In short, it tells us the marginal utility of a commodity will always decline. So this law is applied under the cardinal utility theory. The law of diminishing marginal utility states that as we consume more and more units of a commodity, then the additional satisfaction that we got from the additional consumption will always decline. For example, when you eat the first banana, you will get higher level of satisfaction. And when you add the second, the satisfaction you get from the second is not the same with the, the first one. It will decline. And the third 
is is lesser than that of the first and the second the last one is constant marginality of money this means the additional satisfaction that we get from additional spending additional money must be constant now let's rush to the measurement of utility under the measurement of utility we are going to see the total utility and the marginal utility the total utility is the total satisfaction that a consumer gets from some specific quantities of a commodity but the marginal utility is the additional satisfaction that a consumer derives from additional units of a commodity mathematically the marginal utility of a commodity is the change in the total utility divided by the change in unit consumption and let's see the law of diminishing marginal utility the law of diminishing marginal utility as i told you earlier it states that the additional satisfaction that a consumer derives from additional consumption of a product tends to decline in short it tells us the marginal utility of a commodity will always decline but there are assumptions again preconditions that must be fulfilled to apply the law of diminishing marginal utility in order to decline the satisfaction that we get from additional consumption these four preconditions must be fulfilled first of all the consumer must be rational if consumer is not rational the law is not applicable that means the additional satisfaction that we get from additional consumption will not decline the other assumption is the product consumed must be homogeneous products with the same color with the same taste with the same size so if the products consumed is heterogeneous this law is not applicable so the product consumed must be homogeneous this is one of the assumption if we consumed heterogeneous products then the additional satisfaction that we get from additional consumption will not decline the other assumption for the law of diminishing marginal utility is there must be no time gap between the consumption of different units of a commodity if there is a time gap the law is not applicable that means the additional satisfaction that we get from additional consumption of a commodity will not decline for example if you eat the first banana today and if you eat the second banana tomorrow there is enough time gap hence the additional satisfaction that we get from additional banana will not decline so time gap between consumption of different units of a commodity the other assumption is the consumer's taste and preference must remain unchanged if there is a change in the consumer taste or preference then the additional satisfaction that a consumer gets from additional consumption will not decline so these are the four assumptions for the application of the law of diminishing marginal utility now let's illustrate the cardinal utility theory using the following schedule this is the unit consumption and this is the total utility derived from consumption of these units of a commodity in terms of utils so first of all the total utility of the units of a commodity is always zero that means without consumption there is no satisfaction there is no satisfaction hence the marginal utility is undefined now the total utility of one unit of a commodity is 20 utils and the second is 30 utils and the third is 30 utils and the fourth one is 20 the marginal utility of a commodity is calculated by dividing the change in the total utility for the change in unit consumption this means the change in total utility is total utility final minus the total utility initial divided by unit consumption final minus unit consumption initial so let's take this zero as the total utility initial and this one as the total utility final the, let's take this zero as unit consumption initial and this one as unit consumption final let's take this zero as total utility initial and this 20 as total utility final hence when we substitute this information the value of total utility final is 20 minus the total utility initial is 0 0 divided by 
the quantity final is 1 minus 0 and then this is 20 over 1 then this is 20 so as we increase unit consumption from 0 to 1 if the total utility increases from 0 to 20 utils then the additional satisfaction that we got from additional unit of consumption of a commodity is 20 utils similarly the marginal utility of the second is 10 because it is calculated by dividing the change into which is 30 minus 20 divided by the change in consumption which is 2 minus 1 this is 10 and when we come across from the second unit to the third the total utility of the second is 30 and the total utility of the third is 30 hence the change in the total utility is zero hence the marginal utility of a commodity is zero that means there is no additional satisfaction from additional consumption of a commodity finally as consumption increases from 3 unit to 4 total utility increases from decrease from 30 utils to 20 in this case the marginal utility becomes negative 10 because it is calculated by dividing 20 minus 34 for minus 3 which is minus 10 this indicates that marginal utility can be negative that means if we consume successive units of a commodity then the additional satisfaction that we get from additional consumption is negative that means there is dissatisfaction this is the mathematical presentation of the marginal utility as we calculated earlier now let's see the graphical representation of the total utility and the marginal utility of a commodity first of all in order to plot the total utility just represent all the values of total utility in the y-axis and all the values of unit consumption in the x to plot the total utility curve and we get such a curve which is n shaped curve from this the total utility of 10 units of a commodity one unit of a commodity is 10 units and that of two units of a commodity is 20 and that of three units of a commodity is 30 and that of the fourth is 20 that the fourth is 20 this curve is derived from the previous schedule that we saw in this this is the schedule and the graphical presentation is this curve again in order to plot the marginal utility curve just represent all the values of marginal utility in the y and all the values of unit consumption in the x and we get this kind of curve which is a continually declining curve now let's see the relationship between the total utility and the marginal utility curve first of all starting from this point to this point the total utility curve is increasing and whenever the tu curve increases you are asked to tell something about the patterns of mu starting from this point to this point so whenever the total utility curve increases then the marginal utility will decline but it is positive or simply whenever mu is positive total utility increases this is the first relationship second at this point the total utility curve is at its maximum point and whenever tu is at its maximum the marginal utility is always zero and beyond this point beyond this point the total utility curve is declining and whenever tu declines the mu is negative so don't forget these three relationships between the mu and the tu curves first whenever tu increases mu is positive second whenever tu is at its maximum mu is zero and the third relationship is whenever tu declines mu is negative mu is negative these are the relationships these are the relationships now let's rush to the consumer equilibrium the consumer equilibrium is about maximizing utility as i told you earlier the primary objective of every consumer behind consuming goods and services is maximizing total utility now we do have the money there is the price of the goods and services and the quantity of goods and services so using our limited income 
how can we maximize our utility? In what quantity should we buy to get the maximum level of satisfaction? This is the question. This is the question. So under the cardinal approach, there is the rule of maximizing total utility. And the rule of maximizing total utility states that a consumer equilibrium or the maximum level of satisfaction is obtained if a consumer spend his or her income in such a way that the last number spent on each good yields equal marginal utility. That means if the marginal utility of X per price of X is equals to the marginal utility of Y per price of Y. And if there's another commodity Z, it must be equal with the marginal utility of Z for per price of Z. And the second precondition is price of X times quantity of X plus the price of Y times the quantity of Y. If there's another commodity Z, must be price of Z times quantity of Z. And this indicates that the income of a consumer is exhausted. That means if there is money in our pocket, we cannot get the maximum level of satisfaction in economics. So the income must be exhausted. Next, now let's illustrate the theory of consumer equilibrium using the following example. That means we do have the money income and the price of the two goods. And from this, how can we maximize total utility? For example, he both had income of Britain and she buys two goods, X and Y. The price of good X is given, which is one bar, and the price of commodity Y is two bar. Now, the total utility that she derives from the consumption of the two commodities X and Y is given in this table. And we can calculate the marginal utility of X in this way. It is calculated, for example, the marginal utility of commodity X for the first unit is 10 minus 10 minus 0 divided by 1 minus 0, which is 10. And similarly, we can calculate the marginal utility of commodity X for the second unit. It is changing to you for the changing, changing to you for the changing unit consumption, which is 18 minus 10 divided by 2 minus 1, which is 8. And for the third, 25 minus 18 divided by 3 minus 2 which is 7 and for the fourth 31 minus 25 divided by 4 minus 3 which is 6 and finally 36 minus 31 divided by 5 minus 4 which is 5. Now we got the marginal utility of commodity x. Now let's calculate the marginal utility of commodity x per price of x and the price of x is given which is 1 bar so we have to divide this marginal utility for 1 bar and 10 divided by 1 is 10 8 divided by 1 is 8 similarly it is 7 6 5 again let's calculate the marginal utility of y here as consumption of unit of consumption of y increase from 0 to 1 total utility increase from 0 to 24 so the marginal utility of commodity y is 24 minus 0 divided by 1 minus 0 which is 24 and when we come across from 1 to 2 then the total utility increase from 24 to 44 hence 44 minus 24 divided by 2 minus 1 will give you 20 this is the marginal utility of y similarly we can calculate the marginal utility when we come across from the second to the third, which is 62 minus 44 divided by 3 minus 2, it is 18. And for the fourth, 78 minus 62 divided by 4 minus 3, which is 60, 16. And finally, when we increase consumption from 4 to 5, if, if total utility increase from 78 to 92, then the marginal utility is 14. Now, Let's calculate the marginal utility of commodity Y per price of Y. And the price of commodity Y is per 2. And we calculated the marginal utility of commodity Y. Hence, the MU of Y per price of Y will be 24 divided by 2, which is 12. And 20 divided by 2 is 10. 18 divided by 2 is 9. And 16 divided by 2 is 8. And finally, 14 divided by 2 is 7. Now. When we come across to the consumer equilibrium, we are going to compare the values of the marginal utility of commodity X per price of X with the marginal utility of commodity Y per price of Y. Now we do have 10, 8, 7, 6, and 5 in the X side, and we have 12, 10, 9, 8, 7 in the Y side. So 
we have to take at the first purchase we have to take the largest value in terms of price so from this we have 12 here we have 12 here and this 12 indicate that one unit of commodity y so at her first purchase he will has to buy one unit of commodity y because she get the largest marginal utility in terms of price and he what's income is given per 10 and uh, it, in her first purchase if she she buys one unit of commodity y the price of commodity y is per 2 and then she left with with 8 bar and as i told you by putting bar 8 in her pocket she cannot get the maximum level of satisfaction she has to spend all of her money so we have to proceed to the next purchase and in the next purchase we have 10 8 7 6 5 in x side and we have 10 9 8 7 here she get equal marginal utility in terms of price we have 10 here and we have 10 here this 10 indicates one unit of x and this 10 indicates two units of x two units of y so at her second purchase she has to buy both goods because she gets equal marginal utility in terms of price so at her second purchase she has to buy one unit of x and two units of y then two units of y then if she buys both goods, one unit of good X and two units of good Y, then the remaining income from the first purchase is per eight. When she buys both goods, the price of good X is per one and the price of good Y is per two, then she left with five per again. Again, by putting per five in her pocket, she cannot get the maximum level of satisfaction. So she has to proceed to the next purchase. When we come across to the next purchase, now we left with a 765 in the x side and we left with 987 the largest value is 9 we have to take this 9 this 9 indicates she has to buy three units of commodity y three units of commodity y and when she buys three units of commodity y the remaining income from the second purchase is per five and when she buys three units of good y the price of good y is two over and she left with three bar. again by putting three bar in her pocket she cannot get the maximum level of satisfaction she has to proceed to the next purchase now in the next purchase we left with eight seven six five in the x side and we left with eight seven in the y side now she gets equal marginal in terms of price which is eight here and there is eight here so this 8 indicates that she has to buy two units of commodity X and th this 8 indicates that four units of commodity Y, commodity Y. So at her for the purchase, at her for the purchase, he has to buy two units of good X and four units of good Y. When she buy both goods, the remaining income from the third purchase is river and when she buy both goods, the price of good X is one bar and the price of good Y is two bar then she left with empty pocket the income is already exhausted now he went he would get the maximum level of satisfaction when she buys two units of commodity x and four units of commodity y why because the marginal utility of commodity x per price of x equals to the marginal utility of commodity y per price of y this is the first precondition the marginal utility of commodity x when she buys two units of a commodity is how many utils it is 18 utils it is eight utils and eight utils and the price of commodity x is given which is one now the marginal utility of commodity y when she buys four units of commodity y is 16 16 and 16 then the price of commodity y is two tuber and this 8 equals to 8 and this tells us the first precondition is already fulfilled that means to the marginal utility of commodity x per price of x is equal to the marginal utility of commodity y per price of y the second precondition is the price of commodity x times the price of commodity x times the quantity of commodity x plus the price of commodity y times the quantity of commodity y commodity y must give income of yacht and the price of commodity x 
is given which is number multiplied by the amount of commodity x that she has to buy at her maximum level of satisfaction is 2 units plus the price of commodity y is given which is tuber multiplied by which is tuber multiplied by multiplied by the amount of commodity y that she has to buy at her maximum level of satisfaction is 4 units and the income of what is given which is timber this is 2 plus 8 which is equal to 10 and 10 is equal to 10 this indicates that the income is already exhausted already exhausted Another important information on the calculation of the consumer equilibrium is calculating the total utility that a consumer derives at the maximum level of satisfaction. At the maximum level of satisfaction, this is the total utility which is equal to the total utility of commodity X plus the total utility of commodity Y. The total utility of commodity X when she consumes two units of a commodity is 18 units plus the total utility of commodity y when she consumes four units of a commodity is 78 utils now she left with 96 utils so the maximum level of satisfaction that she gets at her maximum level of satisfaction is 96 utils okay this is all about the first revision lesson of unit 3 stay home stay safe thank you